What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I would like to share some of the important changes which has taken place inside the Samsung Gallery application on One UI 7.0. So without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. Let me first open the Gallery application. Now instantly, you will notice the changes at the bottom menu icons here. As you can see earlier, we just had the labels and now we have got the icons for pictures, albums and stories. And they all look pretty cool as well. Even though they are not the functional changes, aesthetically it makes these menu options look better now. And when I tap on menu icon here, as you can see, we have got this orange dot right here. This is a brand new option called clean out. Now tapping on this, you will be able to clean out or delete the duplicate pictures instantly right here on this page. As you can see, I've got almost about 426 images which are duplicate and I will be able to see the size of this duplicate uh, files. It is saying 7.64 GB of duplicate file here and I will be able to delete them instantly by tapping on this. Now let me just scroll down here. I can see all these files are duplicate here. They're in multiple different folders and they are taking almost about uh, 7.64 GB, which is pretty huge. And here you can see the largest file shown right here on the top. Now this is a brand new option. If you want to delete everything, you can directly delete by tapping on this delete duplicates or you can select the duplicate items and then you will be able to delete them. And again, we also have select all option right here. We can use that as well. So that's a brand new option now we have got called a clean out right here on this menu. Now if you want to quickly take a look at the uh, One UI 6.1 galleries uh, menu options here, as you can see, there is one space missing here and that has been filled with clean out option here, which is pretty cool. Now let's go to the gallery settings here. Now there are some important changes here as well. As you can see, we have got open video player toggle right here. This is under viewing. Earlier we only had full screen scrolling and auto play motion photos. Now we have got open in video player. When you enable this, any video that you open on the gallery will open directly in video player application. Let me just show you that. Let me tap on this and tap on play button here. Now this has been opened up in a video player application, which is pretty cool. So that toggle has been added right here on the settings menu on gallery now. Then we have got a brand new section here called editing under which we have got photo editor settings. Now photo editor settings was available even on the previous version, which is one UI 6.1.1 or 6.1, but it was not organized under gallery settings. We can now directly tap on photo editing settings and access photo assistant, drawing assistant, permissions, raw image editor and uh, about photo editor right here on this menu. Let me tap on photo assistant. You can enable or disable this option here. And we have got drawing assistant. You can enable and disable that option also right here under photo editor setting. Now this photo editor setting earlier was in a different location. Let me just uh, show you that on the S23 Ultra here. Let me open the settings menu here on this. Now here you see we don't have editor section at all. Now to get to the editor section, what you need to do is first open a, a specific image, tap on edit, and now you tap on the three dot button and then tap on settings. This is where you will get photo editor settings. But now on One UI 7, we have got photo editor setting right here. You can see all these options are available right here. Uh, the lapse option is not showing up on the One UI 7 yet. Probably uh, on the stable version, we'll get that. Samsung recently added the lapse option for photo editor setting. Uh, let me tap on labs. Now here you can see try out experimental features, custom sticker clipper, automatic and manual. I have made a, uh, I have posted a separate video on this already. Now this option is not showing up here on uh, the photo editor settings. Let's see if we can enable that. Let me tap on multiple times here on photo editor version number. Uh, no, it is not working. I think this has not been added yet on One UI 7. If you guys have got this uh, lapse option under photo editor settings, do share that. Let me see if I can get that working on any specific image. Let me tap on edit and tap on three dot button and tap on settings. Now we don't have lapse option yet on the One device 7, which is quite strange. Next, we have got a brand new section called stories here under the gallery settings. We've got auto create stories, which is enabled. We can disable it if we don't want it. We've got hide content notification. Now, when I tap on hide content, you can see I can hide the dates from which the stories will be automatically created. It says pictures and videos taken on the selected dates won't appear in automatically created stories. And then we have got hide people and pets. We, uh, the selected people and pets won't appear in automatically created stories. These can be customized or these can be added right here under stories section. We do have this option on One UI 6.1 as well. As you can see here, we need to go to the stories section here and then tap on three dot button 
tap on hide content, this is when we will get this. But now those options have been added under gallery settings right here on One UI 7. But I don't see auto create toggle here, uh, which is not showing up on One UI 6.1.1. But here we do have auto create stories. Only when this is enabled, you will get this hide content options. If you disable auto create stories, it will not show up at all. Next, let me tap on a three dot button here and tap on create and tap on collage. Now I can select a few images here to create the collages and uh, tap on this icon here. Now you can see here we have got a brand new option by tapping on which we'll be able to customize these uh, images manually on this particular collage. This looks pretty cool. I can move it around. I can select a specific item here, move it around, expand it, uh, pinch to zoom in or zoom out to align them and place these images on a specific collage. Uh, this is a brand new customization option that we have got on the uh, collage creation option on One UI 6.1. And if we compare this with the previous version of One UI, you can see this is the collage creation page. Now at the bottom, you can see we've got three options here and we've got four options here on One UI 7.1. Uh, let me tap on the second option, which seems to be new. This is the color borders here. You can see I can select the borders for these collages. Uh, I think we do have colors over here as well. Yeah, we do have colors over here and we have got this customization option. We have got this slider here to increase or decrease the borders here and also to curve the edges of the image here. As you can see, when I use the slider, I can edit the rounded corners here. I can increase or decrease it. On the previous version, we have got these color options and these two sliders together. Whereas here, we have got these color options separately and we have got the slider option right here. You can see this is a slider which has been separated now. We can do the same editing on One UI 7 as well, but these two menu options or these two tools have been separated here. And here on One UI 7, what I can do is I can select an image as well. Let me tap on image. Now here I will select an image by tapping on plus button. Let me select the image. Let's see what happens here. I will select this image. Yeah, we have got the image as a background here for the borders here. I can also increase or decrease the blur effect for this background. And uh, I do have some presets here. You can see the first one is without or uh, let's say less blur. Second one is with 50% uh, blur. Third one with 75% blur. This is almost 100% blur considering the slider that we have here. Now this is something which we can do on the newer version of gallery on One UI 7. Whereas on the previous version, we do not have that image background option. We can set the colors and then we can edit the uh, rounded corners and the thickness of the borders. So that is what we can do now on the collages. So this is another brand new feature we have got on One UI 7. Now let's go to the gallery labs. Let me tap on menu, tap on settings. I have already enabled the gallery labs here. This labs can be enabled by going to about gallery and tapping on version number multiple times. You will get gallery labs, which will add some additional functionalities. Now on One UI 7.0, we have got a brand new option here called search foreground analysis. This is run analysis function for search in the foreground. That's a brand new feature we have got, but this may not be working as intended. So I will show you guys this feature probably in the next video once we get the uh, stable version of One UI 7. So that's a brand new toggle we have got on One UI 7. Now, apart from this, we do have many other interesting options here, which we have already discussed in the previous videos. But once we have the stable version of One UI 7, I will keep you guys posted about the other new changes in the gallery application. So stay tuned for that. Now, apart from this, you can see there is a brand new search bar now, which looks pretty cool. Let me tap on the search button. As you can see, the search bar is here now at the bottom. So this is something similar to the search bar that we have now on the app tray. We've got the search bar at the bottom and in the gallery also now we've got the search bar at the bottom. Earlier, we had to tap on the top to search the images, but now we have got them at the bottom. And this has got this cool uh, effect here. And this is the Galaxy AI's look that we have got on the search bar. Let me just tap on this now. As you can see, this is a brand new search bar we have got. We've got this blurred background background here and we have got the recent searches shown on the top and then you can search here. Let me search for cat. The moment you key in the word, you will get this menu here, which shows the related keywords and uh, you also get the tags, if any, that will show up right here. It is suggesting me some of these. I think this is the AI feature. Now we have got on inside the gallery search. We got Bengal cats, Burmese cats, cat, cats, Maine Coon cats, Persian cats. So we got a search engine itself right here inside the gallery, which is fantastic. Now let me just search for cats. I search for it and I got all the cat images shown right here. And we still have that blurred background here on this bar here. You can see we've got the search bar and we have got the location tags here. We have got portrait images. If you want to search for portrait, you can tap on portrait. 
uh, and you also have some location details here. Let me tap on portrait. All these images are portrait images. So you can further filter it after selecting a specific keyword to further filter it to get the desired results. So that is a brand new feature. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a brand new feature. We did have it in the previous version, but the way it works is quite different now. And it seems like Samsung has integrated AI into the gallery search as well. So that's another new change we have got inside the gallery, which is pretty cool. Now, these are some important changes that we have got on the gallery application. If there's anything new that you have found, do let me know in the comment section. I will come up with a brand new video with all the new changes after we get the One UI 7 stable version. I will keep you guys posted, so stay tuned. And if you're new here on the channel and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.